Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for staying with us on this Friday night and on the Friday Night Blitz. Manny got a huge win against North Dakota last week, 50 to nothing. This uh, pre-district schedule they've put together, it's all teams that are in higher classifications, all pretty respectable programs. Tioga, too. one of them, but just like last week, they took care of business. First, it's London Williams on the touchdown there. Corbin Zito taking this run for the Indians. And then... It's Zito. We saw him on the ground. Here he is through the air. You can't stop the wheel route. Shark wheel! 7-6 <laughs> Indians looking for the upset, but London Williams. You just keep chipping away at the defense. Eventually, it's going to break. Nice little short game I, there. I want to know where the offers are for London Williams. Right. I mean, we're Both talking to state. And we Riley. are talking about a state champion power lifter, a team captain for one of the best teams in the state. He's got the stats on the field to prove it. Do so we have a touchdown here on the squib kick? I don't know why else it would be in there. Nope, unfortunately we don't. 46-7, Manny. There's London, running hard. 46-7, Manny gets the win tonight against Tioga. Pittsburgh looking for their first win of the year. Didn't happen. Malakoff, 17-14. Magnet Cove, they fall. Dirks gets their first win. Congratulations to the Outlaws, 41-26. All righty, Karen Crow taking on Rustin. This is a great game. And Karen Crow, you know, the sked, their record not looking too great, but they play, they've played some really good team, uh, teams. Five minutes left in the first half. Both teams tied at 14. Karen Crow in the red zone. Chance Caesar out of bounds at the one. But I moments later, Caesar flips it over to Jalen. John, John in for the short score. Bears actually up 21-14. Bearcats now on the plus sides. Jaden Osborne. Nice fake there. Faked everybody. Look at him. Keeps it himself. Osborne still on his feet, still going. Number four down at the four. Next play. Celebrating too early here. Look at this ball lost in the end zone. Yep, got a little, got a little Crow, cocky. Karen Crow recovers. And then the Bears, they're driving now. But not for long, Wesley. Caesar going to find Dante Darjan. Darjan met by, that's a big man. That's. Christian Wearing Davis. that single Christian digit. Davis is not missing any meals. And suing. Everyone Bearcat was excited drive. to be here. Osborne with the laser to Dyson Fields. Fields for the touchdown. We're tied at 21. Rustin, though, put that final up there. Big win tonight. Chad and Heather! And it wasn't there, but they won 38 to 35. I'm sorry for telling you what to do. Parker's Chapel, 27 to 6 over Murfreesboro. I hope we get those highlights again. And then Haynesville. <laughs> Over plane dealing, 41 to nothing. All right, more more highlights. Houghton has not lost a home game since 2018. I was still in college. You were still in college, right? Yeah. Both wow. So it's been a long time. Bird put an end to that tonight. This snap over Colin Rain's head, recovered by the Yellow Jackets, and they answer. Dixon Poirier filling in for an injured Devin Strickland. The Jackets, you, you couldn't tell tonight. John, how, how good is this Bird team? No, they are very good. I mean, I said it earlier. If you've been with us all night, you know that I've said this. They might be better than last year's team that was a, a state champion runner-up. I mean, they are a complete team because not only do they have the defense, they've always had the defense. This offense is electric. You don't usually say that with an option team, but they've put up 24. They've put up 30. Tonight, they put up 38. 38 to 7 bird victorious over Houghton. They snapped the longest winning streak at home in the state of Louisiana. It ends at 19, 38 to 7. Bird is the word. That's the final. More scores. Danger field. Nice bounce back from a loss against the Legion Fields last week. 20 to 15. Joaquin has been rolling. The Rams. Joaquin right. 55 and 18 over All right. Guess that's it. Get your silver ring. All right. Some more oh, yeah. highlights. A rematch of last year's 4A Division II state title. It's Gilmer and Carthage. And it's Michael Irvin. Chris Carter. Michael. <laughs> Wrong Hall of Fame wide receiver. Connor Cuff tosses to Montreal. Hatton, Hatton, grown man catch. 7 0 Bulldogs. Bulldogs full of grown men. Yeah, that's, that's an electric program. Brandon Wade. Broke out the white helmets there. Yeah. Matthew Burton, huge play there for Gilmer. Gilmer showing tonight they're closing the gap a little bit. Yeah. They're closing the gap. 
It's all about the G. Fourth and 17, Carthage going for it. Javerian Rackamore. Where's the flag? I don't know. It's in the ref's pocket. He's not throwing it. Cuff. They're twirling in the background. Yeah. There's a game going on. Cuff finds Hatton. Hatton with the moves. Hatton. My goodness. Nice one. Impressive stuff there. And then Cadrian Bell in for the Spring it. And Carthage, they get the win tonight over Gilmer. They've got the Buckeyes number. It's 28 to 7. They've Bulldogs won every game in the Buc series since 2015. But, like you said, closer this year than it was last year. Yeah, some more scores. Gurdon over Foreman tonight, 49 to go 12. Go Devils, go! And then Bismarck over Genoa Central, 26 to 20. All right. More highlights. We go to Texas. Tatum and Gladewater, upset of the night. The Bears came into this game one and two. They lost by 50 last week. 50. Their only win was against a winless center team, 15 to 14. And then they lost to Gilmer, 42 or 49 to 14. They lost by a lot. And then Tatum comes in. Tatum ranked fourth in their class. All right, I'm hyping this up. If you're just now joining us, you see where I'm going with this? You see where I'm going with I this? saw the Tatum chain. With yeah, the Eagles on over chain. We had a touchdown for the Eagles here. They're flying high. That's um, Jaden Boyd on the receiving end. Great helmets for Tatum. All right, but well, let's talk about Gladewater. On this run from Kendall Williams, which is phenomenal. I'll give him that. Kendall Williams breaking all the tackles. Oh my if he goodness. scored here, it might have been our play of the night. But it's he, still such an impressive effort. He, it is. He With the shoestring close. tackle, so close. Gladewater. Both their losses by over 28 points and by 50 plus points. Their only win against a winless team and they beat the number four team in a state tonight. 29-28, congratulations Gladewater. Awesome. Any given Friday. Yep. Louisiana scoreboard time, North Webster. They've lost two in a row, 27 to seven. They fall to, is it Jaina? Gina, 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 Gina. Gina. Holy Savior Menard, got a cousin 6 14 Gina. over Lake. But Gina, she did not participate. That's that's a different team. Gina, Gina, different team. All right, so moving on. Uh, the Spirit Award is, is back this year. You see, that's the Huntington band there. Look, if you want your school to win the Spirit well, I would Award, love my school to win. head over to the Arquitect's homepage.com, click the Sports tab, all right, and then submit a video. Click the sports tab and you'll see it. It says Spirit Award. Spirit Award. Enter to win the Spirit Award. We've got all these beautiful awards. You see oh, there it there. It is. Arquitect's homepage. It's brought to you by Five Star Metal Builders. Yes, on the sports tab. Then you're going to submit a photo, a video, both if you have both, and then a caption. Hopefully a better photo than that one. Why do you deserve to win well, I the think Five that Star I bring Metal a lot of Builders to the Spirit show, Award? And I think that. You know, that I'm John, you can't win. You're just oh, swallowed. You're asking me why I didn't. No, no, no. You can't, I'm asking the audience. Oh, well, we'd love question. to see. We'd love to see it. Yes, so just head on over there, submit whatever you got, and let's we'll, go. we'll let the, let's pass we'll let the, the chips award. fall where they may. Yes, we've got a lot of awards, and we're excited to pass them out. Coming up next, we've got more scores and highlights right after the break. Don't go anywhere.